Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Ohio Cannabis Institute Small Business Report. I'm your host Fred Hanover, and today we're going to talk about episode 3 in our Pick and Axe series on how to become involved in the cannabis industry, the medical cannabis industry here in Ohio. We are going to be talking about uh, some of the process needs in production uh, that relate to packaging, to shipping, to making sure that things are secured, uh, and the services that are related around that. Specifically about packaging, there's going to be a need for companies, creative companies, to develop systematic packaging that will provide a way for the uh, processor, I'm sorry, the uh, cultivator to ship his raw material to the processor. We're talking about large containers, possibly, of, of material that need to be secured and protected. Uh, we're also talking about cultivators that need to provide that same material, but in consumer format for the dispensaries, right, for the end, end user consumer. Um, that's going to require things like printed labels. Companies provide that specifically for the cannabis space, may learn some things about the needs of that industry, as well as the boxes, the containers, all those little things that are necessary in a system, systematized fashion to be able to get the, the, the medical plant in its raw form, in its processed form, in its edible form, all the way to the end consumer. So. If you are in the packing, packaging or the transportation industry, or if you are thinking of getting in those industries and have a creative idea on how you can maybe do it better, this would be a really good time to jump in. Cannabis industry, in the medical cannabis industry in Ohio is uh, on fire, as I'm sure you know. We have done some research that shows that there are 32,000 entrepreneurs in the state of Ohio that want to participate. So we're very, very excited about that. Also want to let you know that there are other types of services along these same lines that are going to be necessary. And these fall in the line of the EDI type services or the services that uh, require, uh, hold on a quick second, I'm going to stop. So there's going to be a need for a way to communicate from each facet in the process production process uh, to make sure that shipments are received, they're receiving the right quantities. This all needs to interface with the state's seed to sale system. So there are going to be um, both processes, procedures, and computerized systems that are going to need to be implemented. Now, the cost of bringing those computer folks on board is quite expensive. Um, looking at outsourcing specifically for the needs of the cannabis industry might make a lot of sense. So uh, that's what we're going to be talking about next time. Uh, and we're very, very excited about next time's conversation because we get into all the real operational aspects and how you can serve the operational side of the business too. Thank you for being with us. Hopefully this created a little uh, curiosity, imagination, hopefully we stirred some interest or even sparked a desire. In any case, we wish you God's blessings and look forward to seeing you next time. Good day, everybody.